Good afternoon, everyone. Snakes on a plane, snakes in Bangkok. Invasion of the pythons, pit vipers, and poisonous tree snakes. University of Exeter also talking about geoengineering having devastating effects on our climate system. Telegraph article trying to explain global cooling caused by small particles in the air after deep frying, uptick in the Bali eruption, and as expected during the grand solar minimum, more volcanism. And while you're watching the video, please remember to subscribe to Adapt 2030 and click that bell so you can stay subscribed and get the latest updates. We've all seen the classic movie, Snakes on a Plane. This takes it to another level right here, Snakes in Bangkok. Seems to be somewhat of a slithering snake invasion going on. Seems that in Bangkok, you're not more than one connection away from a person who has an encounter with the snake in their home or knows somebody who's had a snake in their home. Literally cages of snakes. This is just what they're finding that's coming into the neighborhoods. It's in your home, it's in sheds, pythons, pit vipers, tree snakes. These are some large snakes coming in the city. I mean, I wouldn't want to wake up and find a green tree snake in my light. And you just need to ask yourself why the sudden influx into the city. We saw some of the same things with the rodents coming into the cities when there was a lack of food in the northern climes around the border with Canada and the U.S. last year. And I'm going to give an applause here to the University of Exeter study coming out talking about artificially cooling regions of our planet could have devastating effects on other parts of the world. They're actually warning on the dangers of this university level publication saying, whoa, wait a second, side effects. They're talking about it's vital that the policy makers take solar geoengineering seriously. And here's the startling thing, act swiftly to install effective regulation, which means it's already started and ongoing or else they wouldn't call for swift regulation on something that's not in play. Also, they go on to talk about stratospheric aerosol geoengineering, termed here as solar geoengineering, would have unpredictable and counterproductive effects on our atmosphere. They're talking about reduction in the frequency of cyclones. Well, those are cyclic anyway, but also lead to the increased likelihood of drought in the Sahel and the Southern Sahara Desert. Not that they're dry enough already in drought condition. Finally, somebody coming out talking about this matter here. You see it above your heads every day. Cosmic radiation management is all part of this, but they don't want to spook you. That they're putting nanoparticulates up there to try to mitigate some of the effects of incoming galactic cosmic rays due to our magnetosphere loosening, weakening because our sun is going into a 400 year slumber. And on to the craziest story I've seen in a long time, off the telegraph, cloudy with a chance of meatballs, how frying food could be altering the weather. And I thought, oh no, not another global warming story. The deep frying world is causing climate change. Nope, they're talking about global cooling. Now they talk about the amount of frying fatty foods in areas affects our weather systems, that it attracts moisture and forms clouds just like galactic cosmic rays do. So here's a story talking about deep frying foods creating more clouds in our atmosphere. A noticeable impact on cloud formation. And in fact, the effect is so large that it could even have a cooling effect on the planet, potentially slowing down global warming. All in the time when the grand solar minimum is increasing to the point where people are gonna start asking questions about why it's getting so cold so fast and it is so cloudy and so rainy all the time, which could be easily explained by increased galactic cosmic rays and shifts in our jet streams and the magnetosphere weakening. On to another grand solar minimum effect, volcanism increasing. Algung eruption has shifted into magmatic ejecta, meaning lava coming out. 
wanted to leave you with a small video here. The beauty of the eruption. Thanks for watching. Hope you got something out of the video. Things are definitely changing, and they're even going to the links now to say frying foods is creating more clouds and cooling our planet. They're covering their tracks.